I'm set up here to do some quick tests on the voltage and current setting. So I'm going to set up each of the outputs here with an LED. So there's an LED connected directly to each output. There's no current limiting resistors or anything. So we need to set the voltage and current to something that the LED can handle. So I'm just going to set the voltage to 3 volts. These are white LEDs. And I'm going to set the current to 20 milliamps. 0 0.02 amps. And we can go and do the next one, which is 0 0.02. And the next one. And the voltage 3 all across the board. So now if I turn it on, the power supply should supply each of these with 3 volts with a maximum or a maximum of 20 milliamps. And you can see they're all very close to 3 volts. Keysight digital voltmeter is confirming this voltage at least is very very close to 3 volts. And that's the set voltage. Now note they're all just taking about 9 milliamps. So if I increase the voltage to say 3.4 I'm going to do it to all of them. And I turn this on, they should go into current limit at 20 milliamps. It's not reaching 3.4 volts, it's only 3.1 volts. Constant current is cutting in at about 22 milliamps here, 20.6 milliamps there, and 20.2 milliamps there. So this is off by about 2 milliamps from what I've set it here. But 2 milliamps, this is a 10 amp power supply. 2 milliamps represents 0.02% of 10 amps. So it's, it's a fairly accurate setting. And if you really wanted to get more accurate, you could simply adjust the this, this set point here to, say, 18 milliamps, and this would come back to 20. You can use this current meter to tell you exactly how much current is coming out even though you set it to 20 milliamps, this number is actually more accurate. And we can prove that. I'm going to just connect up the meter to measure the current through this diode. So I'll disconnect the LED, plug the meter into the amp scale, and we need to connect this it's very handy to have a an alligator clip that plugs onto your banana plug. So now we have the current coming through the meter back to ground through that diode. And if we turn that guy on, we can see the current, uh, 22 milliamps, and that corresponds to this accurate voltmeter over here. So this meter on the on the power supply is very accurate and we can use it to actually set the current to be more accurate if we need to. I mean 2 milliamps is fine for me but uh, there may be some applications where you want to even improve on that and you can. I'm just adjusting it manually here but you can adjust the current to whatever you want and you can find out what the set point should be or you can type it in. If I type in uh, point zero one eight. You can see that it comes very close to 20 milliamps. You can easily get very good precision out of this. Uh, 20 milliamps on a 10 amp power supply, this is phenomenal being able to adjust it this accurately.